What's up, YouTube? Mini Minchino here, and welcome back to another episode of Dust, an Elysian Tale. Uh, last time, we managed to arrive here at this village, but I keep dying, again, so we're going to see what I kind of materials I can right sell, now. if anything at all, to potentially um, very meagerly increase the uh, amount of healing items I can get, which is probably going to be a very, very tiny very tiny amount. I sh definitely should have gone for attack. I Your did not want to do that. Okay. Quick. I want to buy. Ah, hello again, my friend. I suspected you would. I return. can get four pretzels this time. Ha ha. Um. <laughs> right. So that's my rush job at shopping. Um. You know what? I'm actually going to quick save that, so I don't have to keep buying that every time. It's kind of annoying. But here we are, we're going back through this, and we're going to try to beat up those guys again to see if we can, um... Whoops, I keep doing that, I keep going the wrong way. Aw, oh, nuts. Um... See if we can beat those guys, those random soldiers up, and, uh... See about, um... Can I just go ahead and directly skip this? Yes, I can. Awesome. Halt! And we're gonna skip and what? And we're gonna skip you too. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna do it the cheat way. Just get you guys in mid air. Do it that way because, like, darn damn. <laughs> I keep dying to them and I don't want to continue dying, so this is how it's gonna be. Um, which is unfortunate because I feel like this is like the cheat way to do everything. I'm just gonna plow through all you guys and just do this shenanigans because awesome stuff is about to happen. And it's going to be a lot of cutscenes, so I'm not going to be talking for a good portion of this. But, you know, we're going to do some stuff and it'll, it'll be great. <laughs> I'm not even describing anything, I'm just like, we're going to do things. Of course we're going to do things. This wouldn't be a video if I didn't do- well, this wouldn't be a good video if I didn't do things. Nope! Get through. I don't want to die again because of you guys. Just can I like my god, okay. Can I like please just Yes. Can this be a thing I do? Yeah. Can I, can I take you guys out now? Any day now? <laughs> that would be amazing. Okay, there's one down. There's another down. Okay. Did we take them all out? Yes. Why? Why destroy such a peaceful place? We didn't want any of this. Gus, what are you talking about? And who is Cassius? That's not... It's not my name. I remember it. I know it when I heard it. Hmm... Interesting things are already starting to happen. Dust seems to be remembering things, and, uh... Yeah, look at this place. It's, uh... It's seen better days, for sure. How am I doing for items? Terribly. Okay, we're not gonna worry about that for now. Looks like this place has been destroyed for quite some time. A year, actually. Huh? How do you know that? This was Ginger's village. I was here. One year ago, according to Fuse, according to Ginger, I helped murder everyone in this village. Oh, dust. But I don't remember any of it. I remember this place, but it feels like it's been more than a year. Aro, what does it mean? It only means that things are not as they seem. Explore the village further, dust. Let us see what secrets it hides. Ara knows. Ara knows everything. <laughs> Sorry if that's a spoiler. 
but uh, I mean, it's pretty obvious that Ara knows something. This house. Do you remember something, Dust? This is impossible. We're not going in yet. We're gonna see what else is here. Okay, we have to go in then. <laughs> That's what I get for exploring during a plot significant event. Dust. How do you see now? But how, Ara? I, I don't understand. The answers lie above, Dust. Something's whack here. Okay, so the next little thing, hopefully it works out proper. I hope it... I really, really hope it does. I just, uh... Um, there's gonna be like an animated scene kind of thing, and sometimes my Mac likes to screw it up and not play the audio proper. So let's hope that it works out. Let's just go ahead and see. Ginger. Oh good, it's working. She was sleeping right here on the night I came to say goodbye. But I hesitated. I didn't want to wake her. Didn't want her to worry about me. She couldn't know what I was about to do. Dust, what are you saying? She couldn't know that I was about to go avenge our parents. You mean, you're... But how? What's going on here? I... I remember now. But how? How can I have helped destroy this village, but be a victim of that same act? That's impossible. Only impossible for a creature with a single soul. Ginger. Those eyes. I know those eyes. So, Mithrarin. You finally see the truth. Who are you? I am Elder Grey Eyes, leader of the Moonblood people. Well, what's left of them, that is. What did you mean just then, that I can finally see the truth? What do you know about me? His eyes, Elder. They're Jin's eyes. They do look remarkably similar to your brother's, yes. That is because his soul lives on within dust. What? However, to suit our needs, we required two souls. The soul of innocence is a noble thing, but without skill, without power, dust would have been struck down just as easily as your brother was on that fated day. No. So we combined your brother's soul with that of his murderer, the royal assassin known as Cassius. They perished at the same time, forever entwined. Never before had I heard of such an event. You murderer! My parents did nothing wrong! You have been deceived, little one. Your parents turned against their king. An act of pure treason. What resistance there was, was led by your family alone. You destroyed my village! Murdered my friends and family! You will not survive this day! I take no joy in slaughtering one as young as you, child. But you have forced my hand. I love that. <laughs> a grave injustice was done that day. Cassius murdered a defenseless djinn, but his pride and arrogance proved to be his undoing. But how? How can this... this thing be my brother? It's not possible. I couldn't even remember you when we met. You are djinn, yes. But you are also Cassius. Two souls, forever at odds. One of innocence, one of power. Together you form the one we call Mithrarin, he who is born of the dust. I never knew what happened. Jin just disappeared one night. I had always hoped he would turn up alive someday, that he would come back. But could you really be him? Ginger. I don't know. I... I don't know. Now, Dust, I imagine you have many questions. 
Please, do not hesitate to ask them. Many questions is an understatement. We just got a whole exposition dumped on us. Those animated scenes were fantastic and they worked properly, which is amazing. Um, I worried for nothing, apparently. <laughs> but yeah, we're just gonna go ahead one by one with all these dialogue choices. I cannot read what they are right now, and I do not feel like zooming in to figure it out. So let's just go ahead one by one. Who, or I guess, what am I? You are what my people call Sen Mithrarin, he who is born of the dust, created from the essence of the life thread itself. You see, my people have been on the verge of extinction for a great many years. General Gaius planned to eradicate us once and for all, and while our warriors are proud and strong, what chance would we have against such a powerful foe? To defeat General Gaius and save our people, we would need a warrior capable of standing against an entire army. This warrior would also need to be pure of heart, incorruptible. So that's why you picked Cassius and Jin, just like you said, opposites. Exactly. Cassius is one of the greatest warriors this world has ever seen, and Jin's purity of heart would help guide our warrior to save our kind. From their fallen souls, you were born. Born to save us. To save this world. Why did I only remember now? I didn't even recognize Ginger when I met her. You may possess the souls of two separate beings, but your body and mind are your own. You were created to save this world, so we felt giving you memories of either soul would simply distract you from the task at hand. I had no idea who I was, what my purpose was. You say that, but in all cases you did exactly what we intended you to do. You saved complete strangers outside of Aurora Village. You stopped our wayward brother Fuse from destroying all that we sought to save. You saved Mudpot and brought the waters of life back into this land. You purged a demonic rage from this land and even helped two old souls find peace once more. You may not have known your purpose, but that did not stop you from fulfilling it. And now I'm here. Yes, now you are here and we can finish this fight once and for all. Who was Fuse? He said he was a Moonblood, but he looks nothing like you. Fuse. He was once a fine warrior, and a close friend of Ginger's family. He would help transport goods between this village and our camp. After the village was destroyed, I guess he lost his mind. He was horribly disfigured after the attack. The only way he could survive was in a special suit of magical armor that I helped to construct. He demanded we attack General Gaius right away, but I would not hear any of it. He would have killed us all in the name of vengeance. We would not have stood a chance. When I refused to send our warriors into battle, he called me a coward and vowed that he would destroy Gaius with or without my help. I fear the very armor we made to save his life had corrupted his mind and body beyond repair. Poor guy. If only we could have gotten through to him somehow. No, you're right to kill him. If he had remained alive, there's no telling what damage he could have done. Ginger is right. Fuse was beyond saving. For all our sakes, I hope the same is not true of the world he sought to protect. How does the Blade of Ara fit into all this? What is it, exactly? It is one of the five blades of Elysium, ancient weapons forged when our kind were many, and the way of the flameless light was commonplace. Wait, wait, wait. What the heck is the way of the flameless light? A path we Moonbloods continue to follow. It is a way of living, a way of thought, that allows us to make use of a power both old and great. Magic without magic. I am so confused. 
Surely, as Nimbat's sword guardian, you studied the ancient doctrines. You must know, in the event that the sword is summoned by its rightful owner, you are obligated to follow. I may have skipped over that chapter? You haven't answered my question. The blades of Elysium were created to guide their sword bearer's dust. I was summoned to your side to ensure a balance was maintained between the souls within you. Ah, my old friend. It is good to hear your voice once more. It has been a long time, Master. Wait just a second. How can you possibly know each other? My clan's been keeping the sword hidden for over 200 years. Master Grey Eyes has lived for a very long time, Fidget. Longer than any of you. So you were sent to keep an eye on me? To help you reach your true potential. Nothing more. I have no more questions. What now? You must join us in the Moonblood Camp to the north, in the Everdawn Basin. That isn't anywhere near the Everdawn Volcanoes, is it? They are one and the same, yes. Well, that's fantastic. Volcanoes? Indeed. What a better place to hide than in the most volatile land in all the kingdom. Oh, I know! How about a peaceful meadow? Or a quiet forest? Or someplace that doesn't explode every ten minutes? <laughs> Thus, your friend seems awfully oh, tense. Oh, fidget. No, I'm fine. Come on, let's go to the Blowy Oak Mountains. Really, I'm serious. Fidget, you need to have more faith in me. <laughs> I'll have faith in you when you have faith in yourself. How about it, huh? Who are you? Really? All right. So I hope you guys don't mind that I wasn't talking through most of that. I didn't want to like interrupt all the uh, exposition because there is a lot of it. Um, we're still going to get a tiny bit more. Here it does not matter what answer you pick. Um, so I'm just going to go with this one. I am... I... Uh... You see? You still haven't figured it out yet! Lizard guy tells you right to your face and you still don't know! Fidget, please calm down. You mustn't test your friend like this. I just... <sighs> if I'm gonna follow you to the literal end of this world, I need to know who I'm following. And why. I understand, Fidget. You're right. I can't ask you to follow me. But I can. Fidget, you have stood by Dust's side for this entire journey. You have watched him save this world. How can you continue to doubt? I just don't get it. It doesn't matter who he thinks he is. He's dust. That's who he is. That's who I know. Fidget, please. I can't do this without you. Can you, uh... Can you repeat that? I said I can't do this without you. I'm sorry. I just... Nobody's ever said that to me before. And it won't be the last time, I assure you. Are you ready, Mithrarin? I am. Then we will meet you in the Everdawn Basin. Goodbye, Dust. We'll see you there. That was... I don't know, just fidget in that moment. It's just... oh man. <laughs> it hits me right in the feels every time. Um, also, I apologize. I was given strawberry shortcake ice cream not too long ago, and it is so good I just had to take a bite out of it. Mm. A couple things happened in the background, so I'm going to end up cutting that out of the recording, but yeah. Um, but there's all that exposition. That is pretty much the video for <laughs> for all this. Like, the holy crap. Um... <laughs> I can't even recap that. I hope, like I said, I hope you guys don't mind that I, um, that I didn't talk through most of that. It's unfortunate that I ended up just sitting there most of the episode, but you know what? I think it's a very good scene at that point. I th think it might have been possibly better if, um, 
rather than giving you all that plot in one huge chunk, you were slowly able to figure it out over time kind of thing. Not that I have a problem with that cutscene, actually. I think it's very good, and it serves a purpose quite well, but I feel like it's a little bit long, but, <laughs> you know, that's my only complaint, is that it's long. Otherwise, it's um, very, very good. Um, but I think that'll actually be it for this episode, so thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it, despite how long that whole thing was. And uh, until next time, Mini out. Also, we're going on to the last area of the game. Just, uh, just thought I'd point that out to you guys. <laughs>